Today, I want to talk about why the internet is so dangerous. Now, as humans, we were supposed to be exposed to look, to see, to feel, to hear only a certain amount of pleasure, enjoyment, and buzz. Yeah. Now, because of social media, we are able to see a hundred, a thousand, sometimes, in some cases, a million times more beauty, buzz, exploration, seeing things, hearing things at such a speed that human beings were never ever supposed to reach and the human body cannot process this. The human body is like, what are you going on? You know, it's going crazy. Because just the simplest example, you know, human beings normally used to travel for several months or several days to get to a beautiful spot. From that beautiful spot, they would then see the sunset or they would see the mountain, or they would see a special monument, a castle. They used to travel. Now you can reach any place, anywhere, and experience a travel video of any country, any person you want to meet, any person you want to hear, any music you want to listen to, is within the temple of things. So this is dangerous, because what that does is that the human body is now getting what it wants within a few seconds rather than something that's supposed to take several days you know or even several months so because of this dog that you see here i'm a bit scared of. so because of this it's incorrect you know it's not normal um so social media is kind of ruining the way we experience things that's why you'll find now that you, you, you're thinking what's that's going to cause what's going to happen if i do that that I'm continually pressing wherever I want to press, wherever I want to do. So what this is going to do is actually going to make you depressed because you are going to think to yourself that that buzz, that dopamine, and I can search this up about dopamine, that dopamine is going to continue. But the dopamine in life does not continue. Do you understand? You can't maintain that level of dopamine. It just means you're going to have to keep scrolling, keep looking at different videos, different things to keep your mind satisfied and then it speeds it up so much now that you've seen the olden days people used to travel as i said and then enjoy something yeah for a period of time then they know it's ended yeah when they go back and again there's a process of the enjoyment reducing gradually because they're leaving the place gradually now you've, you've gone to a sunset video and you're leaving the sunset video not slowly by walking but you're leaving it just like a click and you're lying down. It's unnatural. Now multiply that by a hundred, by a thousand, by a million, by the evil effects of social media, the music industry, uh, the movies, which are, and the cartoons included. I hope the children are listening to this because they have Dajjalic effects on a person, antichrist effects, haram effects, the jinn effects. And if the children don't know what jinns are, they're basically very similar to ghosts, yeah? And the more you listen to certain uh, music, certain cartoons, certain movies, they have these effect on you. So that you'll realize it opens the gates for you, for the jinns, for the ghosts to have access to you. So it's very, very important we understand this, that it's very unnatural, extremely, super duper unnatural to be doing what we do in social media. So the more we stay away from it, the better. Yeah? The more we keep away from it, the better. This subject goes deeper, but I'm not gonna go too much deeper because then there's children here who might be listening. So a human being is supposed to see a certain amount of beauty. I hope those people who are a little bit older children understand what I'm talking about. A certain amount of beauty. Now, because of social media, we're seeing a thousand times more beauty than any human being had ever seen in the entire lifespan because of social media. That has an effect in the future when you get married. That has an effect in your future when you try to concentrate on something. That has an effect on your desires and your pleasures and your enjoyment. And I hope I understand those who do understand the hint, what I'm hinting towards, you know. So it's extremely dangerous, you know. This is why the Prophet and Islam is there to control our desires, to not delve into our desires. And this is why it's so important 
to move away your children or yourself away from this addiction, you have to have an alternative. You can't just say, you're sitting at home, everyone's watching telly and on their phones. That's it. Kabat. Boom. No more. Take the throne, throw it in the ground. No, that's not gonna work. Because the addiction is already there now. So what you've got to do is you need to give an alternative. Unfortunately and sadly, people won't jump towards Salah, Dhikr, Quran and try and absorb their peace and tranquility and put it in their heart because the heart is corrupt with blackness and evil. So it's going to take a long process. That process is going to take time. You have to reduce the evil slowly, slowly, gradually. Another beautiful way is traveling. The more you travel, the more you're surrounded by natural beauty, the more you've got an alternative now. Before people used to... Your, your, your children were watching or your, yourself even you were watching things on video on telly now you can watch it and sit down with your family and do dhikr on the beach enjoying beautiful scenery the sunset today children are watching with their parents the TV yeah entertainment things which are ruining the heart the rate of the heartbeats this is why a person when music goes on you might notice a young child he'll start moving when you go to a disco dancing people can't help themselves it's just the music has a beat and the jalic evil uh, uh, jinn ghostly uh, beat affects the body the heart rate affects the way the blood stream changes when was the last time you sat with your family on the beach and watched the beautiful sunset think about that this is Allah's beautiful nature doing some dhikr reading some Quran and hadith with them or go up to the mountain. Go up to some beautiful scenery. Beautiful things you can do. Allah has given alternatives. You know, even if you cannot afford all of these things, even going to the masjid with your family, sitting down, doing some dhikr, doing some hadith circles, listening to some talks, this can give you such tranquility. People literally fall asleep. And people are like, it's not because it's boring. It's because your heart has not experienced such peace and tranquility that when you do sit in the gatherings of peace and tranquility, the angels descend. A special Sakina, it's called Sakina. You can name it all Sakina, it's very good name. Sakina descends, which makes the hearts feel peace. Uh, watch that video that I made you know, about I challenge, there's a challenge, challenge video of meditation. The Prophet used to meditate. These are the things that will cleanse your heart away from the social media, away from this evil, the dhikr of Allah, Quran, saying in the masjid for long periods of time. Today we don't do that. We just up, down, back, it up. You know? So, this social media, this internet, this faith, this fitna book, this dajjal book, all of these things are not good for you. The same people who made them don't show it to their own children. And you are showing it to your children. How groupified are you? You know? So stop getting the bigger screen TV and the 4K and the ultra 4K and get on with the natural thing. This is what's going to help your family and your children. And this is again kind of related to the Hijra. I do watch the Hijra video as well. So change your life before it's too late. Extremely scary what will happen to your children, what will happen to you. If you don't change now, if you keep delaying this and saying, one more movie, one more cartoon. Give me a few more weeks when my life changes, when things get easier. Things will never get easier. A believer's life is, is, is full of problems. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, for a believer, this life is like a prison. And for a kafir, this life is like Jannah. So the problems will never stop. Problems will never stop. You have to live within those problems, face those problems. I was about to say like a man, but like a, like a human being, like a believer, to be inclusive. And stay strong and fight it you know otherwise one day you will wake up and your family will be go so distant away from you forget being away from you in Islam away from you and they won't look after you a few weeks back a few days back sorry I wanted to come from Antalya to Alanya which is about 150 kilometers old man I happened to knock on his door a long time ago and he, he found out I had one night free I didn't have a hotel book I didn't have a place book he said to me please come stay with me I said to him, look, I can stay in a hotel, it's not a problem. He said, no, 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 please stay with me. Because I said, look, the thing is, I have to go travel to another city in another place, 150 kilometers away. I kind of booked my uh, my taxi. I had booked it already. He 
said, no, 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 I'll take you there to the other city. I said, but uh, it doesn't make sense, you know, like, you're going to be using your car, your petrol, it's going to cost you a lot of money. It's going to cost you at least 450 euros, just the, the petrol fuel. He said, all I want are smiling faces. I need company. He said, my, my daughter is in another city in the north. My son is in the other side of, of Turkey. And I have nobody. And I'm living in this apartment, three bedroom apartment by myself. Come stay with me. You know? What's going to happen to you when you get older? Even before that, something could happen. So if you don't safeguard your family now and your children now and your wife now and your mother and father even included, whoever's watching this video, if the children don't save, save their parents even, watch that video on um, the rights of children where I say I'm annoyed about just the rights of parents all the time. So make sure you change now before it's too late, before the sun sets and it's gone forever. So it's a very important thing, a very dangerous very dangerous thing, you know, otherwise you'll be taken away from you one day. Forever, your wife and children.